Team USA hopefuls talk nerves and new tricks at the first Olympic qualifiers in copper. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News. First, construction is wrapping up on the latest round of renovations for the 37-year-old Breckenridge Recreation Center. Work included a new standalone tennis center and renovations to the old indoor center. That is now a wide-open cardio and fitness area with 17,000 square feet of workout space. Renovations cost about $17 million total, and town officials expect the tennis center to open this week. All facilities should open by Christmas. Down on the front range, Denver has just put finishing touches on a brand new $44 million rec center. It's at Colfax and Josephine on the southeast edge of downtown Denver. The Denver Post calls it the city's first true urban rec center with five stories, a rooftop deck, and 67,000 square feet. It's also Denver's first new center since 2011 and is scheduled to open in January. Today is the second day of competition at the U.S. Grand Prix at Copper Mountain, and throwing down right now are North America's best halfpipe snowboarders. It's an Olympic qualifier for riders who make it to Saturday's final, and then it's on to the next qualifiers at Aspen, Snowmass, and Mammoth for just about everyone on the start list. That includes 18-year-old Chase Blackwell of Silverthorn. Here's what his season is like after Grand Prix this week and his first trip to do tour in Breck next week. I'm pretty much just chasing those Grand Prix and stuff for the beginning of the season. Then after that, if I don't make the Olympics, we're just going to have some time off to just, you know, full ride. Olympian Ariel Gold of Breckenridge is also competing today. She missed the 2014 Games with a dislocated shoulder, but she's now older and wiser with more tricks in her arsenal. I think the biggest thing for me that I'm kind of trying to emphasize this season is just getting back to just really enjoying snowboarding. Sometimes it's kind of hard. It gets drowned out a little bit in the noise of competing. The Grand Prix continues all day today at Copper Mountain with men's and women's snowboard halfpipe qualifiers. Competition ends at 3.30. All events are free and open to the public at the Main Bain Superpipe in Center Village. In sports, the Nuggets lost to the Pelicans in New Orleans last night, 114-123. to Tonight on Thursday Night Football, the Saints play the Falcons. Kickoff is 625 on NBC. And the Colorado Avalanche are in Tampa for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Puck drop is 530. The Nuggets are off until Friday. Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News.